Hello, everyone, and welcome back into another episode of The Three View. Today, we are joined by New Mexico's Ice Wolves head coach, Darren Banks. How's it going today? Yeah, thanks for having me, Brett. Yeah, of course. So we'll just kind of jump right on into things. So you guys finished first overall in the South Division last year. Obviously, you were bounced um, in the division finals. But can you reflect on last season for us as a whole? It was it was a really good year. You know, from the from the first year that we had down here, um, we had a lot of guys come back from that crew. And, you know, our first year, we, we kind of we went into playoffs as that four seed. We had a really fun run in the back half of the year. Um, and we learned a lot from that year. And so coming into this season, um, you know, we had a really good start, which helped us. Um, and, you know, we were playing really good hockey down the stretch, you know, back into January and February. Um, you know, and, and credit to, to Louisiana. The playoffs, you know, the, the Brahma series, that was a really tough series. Um, you know, we, we came out on top on that one. And then uh, it was a great, great series against Louisiana, um, you know, and, and they, they did a good job and served them well. And as we kind of look back at last year, your team collected a handful of awards, including Owens Known winning goaltender of the year and rookie of the year, in addition to Edward Gregorin, who also, you know, took home the volunteer award. What does it mean to you to be able to see your players recognized by the league? Yeah, it's it's cool seeing seeing Zanon or, or Z get that, um, you know, and he'd be the first to tell you that uh, it's it's a team thing. And, you know, for all of the advancement that we saw in the awards, um, it really is a team effort. Uh, but I can tell you what, I, I there was a stretch there in the beginning where um, I, we didn't get tired of handing out shutout pucks, but we were handing out a lot to him. Um, and I remember there was one time uh, he, he really had a nice game. And the first thing he said to the guys is, hey, I, I, I really appreciate all the shots you blocked in front of me and everything you did. Um, so we're excited to, to follow Z moving on. Um, you know, he's he's with the Kenai River Brown Bears in the North American League now. Um, he got a couple of games with them last year. And then in terms of Greg Ren getting the Community Service Award, um, he's he's uh, it's cool to see him get that because he, he really um, jumped into Albuquerque kind of full force. You know, whether that was helping with the youth hockey, um, he's a pilot as well. So he would go and uh, on his off days, he'd get pilot hours because we, we got so much sunshine here. Um, there's not a bad day to fly, which is a nice thing. Um, and so just seeing those guys recognized is great, but um, really coming out of last year, I'm, I'm proud of our team and, and what we did in the community. Um, and there's a lot of guys that, you know, weren't recognized on the league, um, a league kind of scale that, that really did a lot of great things. And, you know, in terms of advancement, you had four players sign NA tenders and three being drafted as well. In addition to, you know, the five players who ultimately moved on to college, how do you plan on replacing them in your lineup? And then how does it feel being a part of, you know, their journey in terms of moving on to play higher levels of hockey? Well, you know, obviously we're proud of all of those guys. And, you know, during the season, you you want to win games, but on on a bigger scale, like that's that's what we're here for, um, mm -hmm. is, is to try to see those guys move on and, and accomplish their goals and, and dreams as uh, people and players. And so, um, you know, I still remember early on in the season, like uh, the travel down in the South is a lot. Um, and so we go a long way and, and sometimes we'll get back at, you know, three, three in the morning or four in the morning. Um, and the last thing that guys want to do is clean up the bus and, and get everything taken off. And I remember I, I was, you know, kind of unpacking and I looked on the bus and two of two good players were on there and, and they were still cleaning it up. And, um, you know, all of the guys, they, they stay till everything's done. Um, and so just little moments like that, you know, early on in the year, I realized this is going to be a special group and it, it really was. And so, you know, when you look at the advancement and things, we, we preached all year that team success was going to go a long way towards you getting your individual goals. Um, and they really bought into that. And, you know, the, the numbers kind of speak for themselves. I think one important thing in Albuquerque, though, is we don't promise anybody anything here. And so as we're recruiting players and talking to guys over the summer, um, you know, there's there's some guys that are like, well, if I come there, what are you going to do for me? And we say, well, we're going to give you everything to to make yourself better, but it's going to be on you. And so there's no promises coming here. And so to see all of that advancement happen kind of organically, like, you know, them getting noticed on their own, um, it's just a fantastic thing. And, and you know, we, we hope to continue that moving forward. Um, and, you know, the other thing about kind of the advancement is, 
Um, every player that's aged out from our program has played college hockey, whether that's, mm-hmm. you know, NCAA Division III, um, top ACHA programs. So we're, we're really happy with, with the numbers that we have, but really it's the process behind it that makes it go. Yeah, absolutely. And then as we, you know, we look at the rink behind you, you guys play in the same building as the NA team. You know, talk about the relationship that you have with the NA team and the experience that your players get that, you know, some teams might not have. Yeah, the Albuquerque, you know, when when you first kind of start talking to people about it, they're like, well, I didn't know there's hockey in the desert. And um, once you come down here, you really realize it's it's kind of a hockey playground because, you know, Everything is under the same umbrella from the rink that you see behind me, the North American League team, the NA3 team, um, the the gym outside. We've got the only pro shop in the state, you know, in our arena. Um, and so there's just everything here that you need to be successful. And, you know, if, if, if you need extra ice time, it's virtually unlimited to you. Um, one cool thing about the facility, and you can't really see it, but um, there's actually tunnels that connect the two sheets together. And so this whole corner of the boards raise up. Um, so during game days, like the kids, they'll skate on the other side and skate right to the glass. Uh, but because of those tunnels, we're able to use them at any time. You know, if a goalie needs extra reps or you need a small area uh, for things. So um, that's a great, a great thing that we have. And then the gym is, is right in the parking lot. It's 10 steps from, from the front door of the arena. Um, and it's a speed gym. Like it's, it's a very open kind of design. And, and when we're in there, we're, we're working, right? And so from the gym, the shooting pads, the tunnels, uh, the, the actual ice time on the big sheets, um, everything that you need to be a hockey player is here in Albuquerque. Um, and we're, we're really proud of what we've done over, over the last couple of years. And as we look forward to this upcoming season, who are some players that you plan on uh, returning that you'll rely on both on and off the ice? Well, we, we've got a really good returning group. And, you know, we, we don't have, uh, you know, you look a year ago at this time, we don't have as many guys coming back. Mm-hmm. Um, as we had at that point, but from a leadership perspective, I'm really excited for, for this group that's coming in, you know, you look at, um, and, and I know they're going to be mad at me if I don't mention all of them. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, I don't, uh, I don't want to get into it too much. Um, but they, um, yeah, it's, it's an awesome returning core. We've got some guys coming back. They've done some leadership stuff over the summer. Um, just in terms of, you know, how, how we want to tweak our culture a little bit, um, to, to just get better. And, um, you know, we, we also have a lot of new guys coming in this year that, that we're really excited about. We we tried to, and, and it's never perfect, right, in, in recruiting. Um, you know, you're, you're never going to, it's it's never going to be exactly, <laughs> you know, how you think it's going to go. Um, but with that being said, we had things from year one to year two, um, now moving into this year, that we wanted to learn from and how we, um, you know, how we built the team, what we felt like we, we did well and didn't do well. Um, and so we, we really think that we've addressed a lot of needs that we've had, mm-hmm. um, you know, with that being said, with the guys departing, um, you know, there, there's a lot of opportunity for guys, you know, you look at Owens and Owen, like, um, you know, and that, that's going to leave, that's going to leave a lot, right. For, for guys to, uh, step into. And then, um, obviously all the guys that advanced. So, um, kind of a, a long way around. We're, we're very excited for the group that we have coming in. Um, and, and we'll see what it looks like here in a couple of weeks. And as we look at the South Division, you know, last year, teams two through five were within six points of one another. How important is it that your team, you know, comes in ready to battle night in and night out? Well, you know, I, I came from the Central a couple of years ago and coming to the South, it, it was a new experience, especially because of the travel. Mm-hmm. And, you know, if, if you're jumping on the bus from Albuquerque to Lafayette, Louisiana, um, and I'm from Texas, but again, all the way across the state of Texas is a really difficult thing to do. Um and so preparation for us is something that we stress from day one, whether it's preparing for the way that you're going to travel to make sure your legs are okay when you get there. Um, preparation when you are home and you have the ability to um, take advantage of what we have here. Preparation and the way that you're eating going into weekends. Um, it's, it, it's all about preparation when it comes to consistency. And so the division is, is difficult. It's, it's everything that you would think it would be, right? It's big. It's, it's physical. Um, it's hard to play in and the environments that we go into are difficult as well. You know, you go down to El Paso for the first time and that, that place is rocking. Um, mm-hmm. And we have a lot of great environments uh, that we play in. And so uh, the best way to kind of combat um, what you're going to go through in the adversity is just being as prepared as you can be. And so when you're going into your uh, a game, um, you know, you're ready for those things. And so, um, 
yeah, the South Division is great and um, a lot of good people, a lot of good personalities. Um, and we're excited for the year. And you'll kick off this upcoming year against Louisiana, you know, obviously a new formed rivalry with all that went on last year. You know, talk about what it means to you guys to kick things off this year against them. Yeah, I, you know, it's funny because the the first year down here with the 3HL, we, we had some good, we had a good thing going with Louisiana too. They were all good games. Um, you know, Chris Francis, he does a great job there. It's a, it's a good organization. They treat you well when you go there. Um, it's fun because you get some, a little different food. It's not pizza all the time. Um, <laughs> You know, and, and I still remember the first time I went there, uh, I was standing because there's not really a place. And so I was standing out by the Zam room and there's a little creek behind the rink. Um, and they came over to me and they go, hey, you better watch out. There's gators in the creek down there. And I still don't know if they were they were being real with me or not, but it was kind of eye opening. Like this is um, this is a kind of a different place to play. Um, so we're, we're excited to get down there, excited to play them. We know they're going to have a good team. We know that they're tough to play against. Um, we had a lot of great games against them last year and obviously mm -hmm. finishing off in the division finals with them. Um, so we're, we're excited to see how it kicks off. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming on today and good luck this season. Awesome. Thank you.